My husband is being very loud back there. <laughs> what are you doing? I know nothing. How are y'all today? Kenneth has already gotten started working on mulching this tree or trees uh, that's been behind the RVs since we moved it here. <laughs> It's been a hot mess, and he's got started on clearing it up today. She's talking about, I'm about done now. And that means that we are finally beginning the process of moving the RV to its permanent location. We've got to get this finished mulch cleaned up out of the way. We've got to get that mulch, that's what he's pulling out of this. I've just spread out some of the piles of wood chips that are all the way throughout the driveway from where we've been mulching stuff. And then I will begin moving all of the containers that I have stored under my RV back to that location. After I get all of that moved back there, Kenneth gets this cleaned up, we will go to Lowe's, pick up a couple bags of gravel and spread it over that location. And then tomorrow we will close up our home and make it move one last spot to its last and permanent location. So I'm gonna move all of this stuff today. Kenneth's gonna mulch today, and then tomorrow we will get our home moved. Now we really need to get it moved tomorrow because the next day after that is Friday and it's supposed to rain, and we definitely do not want to pull this huge RV over wet, soggy ground. So we gotta get it done tomorrow, which means we got a lot we gotta get done today. Let's see if we can put y'all out of the way. She can ride it out here. I need it, bud. <laughs> you couldn't get on, Mom. I'll ride you back there. Okay, 
day friends so obviously it's the next day we've already went to Lowe's and got our gravel to lay out here for our RV to sit on yesterday it kind of drizzled rain off and on for a few hours so I had to put the camera up because y'all were not waterproof and I didn't want you to get all wet and messed up and stuff so I had to put the camera up so you missed a lot of us just straightening up the driveway and smoothing out a lot of the mulch to make it more flat and then I went ahead and moved some of our belongings down here. And then as I cooked dinner and stuff, Kenneth and Declan got in the truck and they drove over the driveway several times to help compact it down. Hey, mommy. Hey, buddy. Now we've got two bags of gravel already. And we're going to go ahead and start spreading those out on the driveway so that we can get the RV moved down here today. You want to check out our gravel? Check in the gravel. We got to get the gravel spread out so we move the RV. Actually, you have now. We're back from Lowe's again with two more bags of gravel. Let's see if we can make do with it. For those of you out wondering why we didn't buy like a truckload bulk of gravel, that's because our driveway, the um, driveway apron, it's what it's called where it connects to the road, is not a permanent one. It's a temporary one and will not withstand a truck that heavy driving across it. We will do that in the future. 
once the county comes out and puts in our official permanent driveway apron so that it's safe for the truck to come across. Is this gonna be long enough? Uh, I remember, I think it's uh, those up there where it's gotta go to. The gravel didn't cover as much as we wanted it to, but in the future, when we bring in bolt gravel for the driveway, we have the option of just pulling the RV boards and cut, laying more gravel down. So that's not a big deal. We just wanted to get the tires off the ground is the main point of doing this today. by repetitively driving over the gravel back and forth back and forth back and forth Kenneth is just packing it down so we don't get stuck when we pull the RV back here we're all straight back officially packed up and connected to make this trip down the driveway. Now we do have some last minute things you'll see that are set on either side of the driveway. Once the RV is in position, we'll bring the truck back down here, load the truck bed, and then take the rest of our stuff down there. It's just small things that just got shoved to the side instead of carted down there one at a time. So, we'll get there. Dudes, that went much smoother than I thought it was going to. We're almost there. We just got to straighten up and get parked. Hey friends, so I just need to break into this for a minute and 
let's open the prize we got for winning third place in Blue Collar Homestead's Chili Cook-Off. Let's see what we got. Declan is all excited to open this box, so we are going to let him have the honors. Ah! What'd you find? I found something. You found coffee! What else? And a sticker. Oh. Ooh. And a jar top so we can pour our olive oil out. And our coffee. Can you say thank you, Blue Color Homestead? I got my shopping stick. <laughs> Close enough. So, thank you to everybody who participated in the 2021 Blue Color Homestead Chili Cook-Off. It was so much fun. We won third place and we got full throttle coffee. This is made at a an actual a brewery near where they live. I am so excited. It smells fantastic and I can't wait to try this. I will probably get into it tomorrow morning. And then we got a mason jar top where I can pull my, pour my olive oil out without spilling it. We have one of those fancy little olive oil pour things and it always leaks. So I have high hopes for this one. Anyways, y'all have a great day. See you later. Check out that driveway now. No RV in the way. It's wide open spaces, guys. Yeah. It will be so good to have our RV back here because we live in a very small town. Very, very, very small town. Like has one stoplight in the entire town, top of small town. And everybody around here doesn't know us very well yet and they only really know us by the people who live in the camper. <laughs> and so, they like to drive by and go very slow and look down our driveway to see what we're doing. I mean, they're curious, I get it, but it's nice to have a little bit more privacy. So now we are tucked back here in the woods. They can't see us from the road except for when we're out here working. Much happier with that. Oh. Starting to look like an actual driveway now. And our RV fits pretty perfectly in the spot that we created for it. I'm liking this. It does put us much closer to the rabbit colony to offer them a little more protection. This is our home site where we're going to build our home and directly behind it is where our garden is going. Well guys, thanks for joining us again for another homestead project completed. We are slowly turning this raw land into an off-grid homestead, one day at a time. It just feels good to finally start knocking things off the list. It's taken us a little bit to get here, but we are getting it done. And I can't even imagine where we will be one year from now. Our garden will be in place, our rabbit colony is in place, our RV is in place. We'll be on, working on our home build, We'll have our chickens, like, can you think of where we will be in one year? This place is not going to look anything like it did today. But you'll get to say that you were here from the beginning of it all. So, if you want to see more about how we turn this raw land into an off-grid homestead, make sure you're subscribed, you hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video while you're at it. But for now, we will see y'all later. Bye, friends.